This hat doesn't look bad, does it? Yeah. That's good. It looks like shit, actually. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'll say you're wearing the same hat, though. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the Blessed Performance uh, YouTube channel, guys. Today we're going to talk about the SNS Disaster Gen 2 Prevention Kit. This kit is designed to protect the 6 7 power strike from the CP4 failures that they all see. Don't care about the year make model, every CP4 will fail with the fuel we get today. That's why this is crucial on a 6 7 power stroke. This $400 investment, $419 investment, can protect you from a $10,000 repair on your truck. Okay, the SNS to Gen 2 disaster kit. The new ones actually just got released. They're pretty straightforward. They come with some, with some parts that you need, obviously. Uh, what they changed compared to the original ones, they changed to this awesome billet filter head assembly, which is pretty badass. That SNS logo looks gangster status, you know. Um, and then this one's actually going on our truck right now, so it's kind of cool. You got your directions, follow through. We're gonna also have a YouTube video posted on our website. You guys can take a look at comes with your hoses all the necessary hoses that you need that comes with the hose for this is 2011 to current six seven power strokes the new ones come with all the hoses you need for every six seven power stroke ever produced and you even get some cool little logos or stickers stickers i mean this on my truck dude i'm gonna make a thousand horsepower anyways <laughs> It's a pretty straightforward process. This is gonna go down into your, into your CP4. And what the, the concept is here is that this is going to protect the fuel going to the injectors plus the fuel on the return side. Your first design of disaster prevention kits only protected the fuel going to the injectors, not the fuel on the return side. So when it was returning to the tank, metal was going to the tank coming right back up. This bad boy right here for $419 and a couple hours of labor installed can prevent metal from ever leaving when you do fail your CP4. It's not if, it's when. Some of them last 20,000, some last 280. Good rule of thumb is 125-ish. You better have this on by that point. Uh, if you don't, you're playing with fire. And these are pretty straightforward install. You do have to remove your intake plenum and stuff. We have ours off for our pusher piping kit, so it's gonna make, us, make it an easy install for us to do. This hose is not needed if you have a 19 or older. If you have a 20 plus, this is the only time you use that hose. The rest of this stuff, you'll just get in there and get it installed. So 